He is known for his career as a bodybuilder and physique model, having competed in bodybuilding competitions and worked with renowned photographers in the industry. He is recognized for his roles in Sword and Sandal films during the 1960s. His name is Ed Fury. In the realm of Hollywood history, there is one name that stands out, Ed Fury, a versatile actor whose journey captivated audiences. Born as Rupert Edmund Holovchik on June 6, 1928, in Long Island, New York, Fury's early life was marked by adversity. Orphaned at a young age, he eventually made his way to Los Angeles, California, in the late 1940s. It was here that he discovered his passion for bodybuilding, competing in renowned competitions like Mr. Muscle Beach in 1951 and 1953, where he achieved impressive rankings of third and second place respectively. Not only did Fury excel in bodybuilding, but he also made a name for himself as a physique model, working with esteemed photographers Bob Miser and Bruce Bellas. He even ventured into the world of male erotica, making appearances in films for Miser's Athletic Model Guild. Fury's journey into the world of acting began with humble beginnings on the stage. Despite starting with uncredited roles in films, he soon landed his breakthrough role in the film The Wild Women of Wongo. However, it was his portrayal of an Olympic hero in the television series, Naked City, in 1958 that truly showcased his talent. Unfortunately, after this success, Fury experienced a period of unemployment. In a twist of fate, he found himself arrested and accused of theft and assault. Despite this setback, Fury's determination and resilience remained unwavering. Seeking new opportunities, Fury ventured to Italy in the 1960s, capitalizing on the popularity of Sword and Sandal films. Riding the wave of success initiated by Steve Reeves in Hercules, Fury secured leading roles in films such as Colossus and the Amazon Queen, The Seven Revenges, and Maciste Against the Sheik. He even took on the iconic role of Ursus in the Ursus film trilogy. However, as the popularity of Sword and Sandal films declined, Fury's career took a different direction. In his later years, Ed Fury chose to step out of the spotlight, preferring a quieter life away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. However, he did make several public appearances to connect with his fans and fellow bodybuilders. One such occasion was on September 3, 2001, when Fury was honored at Venice Beach by the City of Los Angeles Department of Recreation and Parks. This event was part of the Labor Day celebrations and aimed to recognize local bodybuilders who had made a significant impact on the film industry. During the ceremony, Fury shared the stage with other renowned bodybuilders and actors, including Gordon Mitchell, Mark Forrest, Mickey Hargitay, Brad Harris, Richard Harrison, Reg Lewis, and Peter Lupus. It was a memorable gathering of influential figures who had all contributed to the genre of Swords and Sandals films. The event served as a testament to Fury's enduring legacy and the impact he had made in the industry. Years later, in July 2003, Hargitay, Mitchell, and Fury reunited at the Swords and Sandals Festival, which was hosted by the UCLA Film and Television Archive. This festival celebrated the iconic films that had captivated audiences with their tales of ancient civilizations, gladiators, and epic battles. Once again, Fury had the opportunity to reconnect with his peers and relive the golden era of these beloved films. Tragically, on February 24, 2023, Ed Fury passed away at the age of 94. He peacefully left this world in the comfort of his home in the Woodland Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles. His departure marked the end of an era, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the hearts of his fans and the film industry. Ed Fury was survived by his loving wife, Shelley, who had been by his side throughout his remarkable journey. Ed Fury's later life may have been marked by a retreat from the limelight, but his impact on the world of bodybuilding and film remained indelible. Through his public appearances and recognition, he continued to inspire and connect with his fans, leaving behind a legacy that would be remembered for generations to come. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.